A Lafayette native who now calls Thibodeau home is back in Acadiana due to Hurricane Ida. And as News 10's Gerald Grunick explains, it's not just Hurricane Ida keeping the McDermott family up at night. Doug McDermott, born and raised here in the Hub City, temporarily calling Lafayette home once again due to Hurricane Ida. Friday, we're, we're poised with the decision of do we stay, do we go? Doug, his wife Reagan, and newborn baby Charlotte Rose. She made a week old last Friday, and so we were just you know, focused on her. Live in Sheila's hometown of Thibodeau. You know, it's just kind of like someone upstairs is laughing at you going, okay, we're, we're going to throw everything at you, see if you can do it. The McDermott's decided late last week to evacuate to Lafayette with baby Charlotte. We won't lose power, hopefully, um, and with a newborn, at least we're able to keep everything going with her. And it wasn't until today that they were able to speak with their family that chose to ride out the storm in Lafourche Parish. Just hearing that these people are safe, these people are doing well, uh, makes my heart full again. Doug and his family. Pretty much all is well, no leaks. I mean, we had a tree come down. Fortunately, it fell on the driveway, took out a little bit of the gutter. Now waiting for the all clear to head back down to Thibodeau. Once the power comes back on, we are on the hospital grid in Thibodeau. Uh, so if we do get back on, we may be one of the first ones back on. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's more or less just a wait and see game right now. As for baby Charlotte Rose, a memorable first trip back to daddy's hometown. I mean, yeah, we didn't expect her to be in Lafayette this early, but it's been great. Uh, you know, my, my dad's been helping out with her and uh, we may start being able to bring her around to some of the friends and, and other extended family here in Lafayette to show her uh, to everybody. But uh, right now it's just kind of going through the motions of, of keeping up to date and see what's going on. In Lafayette, I'm Gerald Grunig, KLFY News 10.